Here's a short video on this um, ATV card I just got done building. It's for the Articat 550. Uh, it's got one of those bogey axles. Um, used 488 uh, tires and rims off of it that are made for a log splitter. Got them from uh, Northern Tool. Uh, the card itself is let me get back here. Uh, 66 long, 48 inches wide, and 24 inches deep. And then I made a, a two-way uh, tailgate on the back of it. Locks in here. And comes down that way with the chains or you can lock that you can put a set of pins in it here like that and there pull these bottom ones and then the tailgate, let me get this unlaxed here. Then the tailgate actually comes up, if you can see that, from the bottom. And that's how I use it to dump dirt and gravel. So it just kind of depends on which end you want to put the, the pins in. Get this put back in here. Now. And uh, on the front here. Um, I was trying to figure out an easy way of picking this and dumping it and what I came up with is I, I bought a hydraulic cylinder, two inch hydraulic cylinder from Surplus Center out of Lincoln, Nebraska and some hoses and then a little gear pump that's like 0.2 one or 0.215 cubic inch displacement and let me see here let me set this up. what I decided instead of trying to put a, a 12 volt battery on here and a 12 volt electric motor and then run a wire into the four wheeler so that you've got to have something uh, hook to it that's you know got 12 volts and, and all that kind of crap to get it to dump um, what you can do is just put a cordless drill on here on the shaft and up she goes And then it'll just dump all this wood right out. I don't, let me make sure I got the pins in here. This will just all fall out right on the ground if you want it to. And then to um, make it go back down, you just simply run the drill in the opposite direction. And you're done.
pull the drill off and you're set. The, uh, the pump that I got um, has a maximum RPM of 3,000 and the drill's only 2,000 so I'm way safe on not over revving that or anything like that. And then I just build a small oil reservoir on here to fill the cylinder up if it needs and then a, there's also a screen and a filter in there to make sure there isn't any uh, you know contaminants and stuff going into the cylinder and the seals but um, that's kind of what I came up with that it's, uh, it's way cheaper I think I got a hundred and twenty dollars into that cylinder and about the same for that pump and um, the power packs and stuff that they sell to do this kind of stuff for three four hundred bucks and I just didn't want to spend that on that and I've dumped this has been half full of dirt or gravel uh, I've hauled some river rock in it already um, the thing dumps just easy as can be um, I've never even had to use the low speed on the drill um, I think I probably could have got away with a uh, maybe a higher displacement pump on this but this was just kind of an experiment to see if it would work and it's not you know even working that drill at all to speak of so I probably could have went with a little you know higher displacement pump to make it run you know dump faster but um, it seems like it has worked real well and then I I put a two inch receiver on there just so it's uh, easy on off on the four-wheeler um, and that's it thanks for watching